guys, what's happening? I'm Billy Wingrove, he's Jeremy Lynch, and we are the F2. And you're watching Talk Norwich City. Pow. Hey, what's going down, guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another video. Today, I'm going to be doing episode two of Canary Watch. We've got a few more rumours coming in hot off the press, so let's get straight into them. So the first rumour is Yusuf Malumbu. Yes, this rumour is really starting to gather some momentum. The Sun first reported on it, but now it's being picked up by a few other news outlets and it's really starting to gather momentum. As I said, Malumbu, who's played 196 times for West Brom, was released by the club after he fell out of favour. Apparently Norwich are really interested in him to give competition to Alex Tete. Um, once, about two years ago, he was really heavily linked with Arsenal, so it shows the talent that Malumbu has got in them, sort of in that defensive midfield area. That's where he likes to play, and that's where he'd be applying his trade if he did come to Norwich. Obviously, it'll be a free transfer as he has been released from West Brom. Wages, I doubt, will be too high. He's 28 years old, so he's still got a few years in them in him. So on paper, it looks like a very good signing. Personally, I don't think getting Yusuf Malumbu would be the best thing to do. We are very middle heavy at Norwich. We've got a hell of a lot of midfielders. Many of them didn't even get into the team last season. So why we're thinking about signing Malumbu is slightly confusing. Maybe to link up with Graham Dorrance. I'm not too sure. It's, it's a rumour from the Sun, so not too believable. I can't see that one happening. So the second rumour starting to gather some momentum is Harris Vukic from Newcastle. He was on loan at Rangers last season, that's where he really came to the spotlight. He scored eight goals in his time there and was really decent uh, according to the Rangers fans. He's had a few unsuccessful loan spells before that and he hasn't uh, really been much of a part of the Newcastle team, obviously with Steve McLaren now in at um, the Geordie club. It doesn't seem like many of the players that were loaned out last season, obviously five of them were loaned out to uh, Rangers, that many of them will stay at the club. So Vukic is a possibility uh, to, to come to Norwich. It does worry me slightly that we're looking at players of this standard. I want to see bigger players linked with Norwich City, the likes of Alex Pritchard, the one that can change games. I'm not sure if the likes of Harris Vukic or Vukinic, however you want to pronounce it, is the type of player we want to be attracting. Yes, he's young. Yes, he's got potential. It's not a real strong rumour, so I don't think that's one, that one is going to happen either. So to finish today's Canary Watch off, it's a quote from David McNally. It's not a rumour, but it is linking in with the Norwich City transfer window, so I thought it was very important. He has said that uh, Norwich City will be focusing on quality rather than quantity. And I'm so, so happy to hear this, mainly because our squad's fairly, fairly decent size. We don't need to add too much. We just need a few quality signings to add, and we don't want to disrupt the squad cohesion because, it's, because it was so good at the end of last season. We really Great squad morale, bringing a few extra great players in will really help uh, add that bit of quality that we need because we've got everything else really. He's also said that he's going to be concentrating on signing players from the UK. Obviously our European um, sort of scouting network clearly isn't that good. We've seen that with Ricky Van Wolfswinkel. It seems that Dave McNally has been put off by signing European players because of that. But he has said, due to the way football's changing, that we can expect maybe a few European players to be coming in, uh, maybe one or two. And he's looking to sign about six or seven players this summer transfer window. Considering we've already released six, I think that's a probably a decent number to be bringing in. As long as they're real quality signings, I'll be very happy. So, leave me your thoughts on the rumours today. Vukic and also Malumbu. Are you happy with them ones? Do you think they're going to happen? Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video.